Herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Episode von Journey to the Chateau hier at the Chateau, Col Chateau de Colombe. Es war eine Woche von uh, vielen kleinen Projekten und einer großen Überraschung. Bonjour à tous et bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colombe. And hello to our English-speaking friends all around the world. Uh, welcome to a new episode of Journey to the Chateau de Colombe here in beautiful Saint-Baudel. And it was a week of uh, a lot of little projects uh, right. and a big surprise. Right. And that was that we had an invitation to a local very famous YouTube chateau. And we're tickled to death. So this week it's it's beautifully warm. It always cools down at night, so that's really really uh, wonderful. And uh, doors open. Always good to do some work on the front entrance hall. Right. We continue right behind this door, doing more work on the uh, interior of the entry hall, including doing some work on the hardware, which uh, most of the hardware cannot be removed. No, well, it's it's a lot of the the hardware is actually riveted into the right. Room. So it's, right. it's it's yeah. They, <laughs> right. As much as as much as we would love the the idea of easily being able to take the hardware and throw it into a crock pot, uh, we just cannot remove this hardware from this door. Well, and a lot of piece hardware pieces that we have are about this long right you know or in, in right. these huge yeah. angles right it does not work it works for small things it not for for a lot of our hardware because it's way too large so right. um thanks for the tips for smaller things we'll absolutely do them but yes. it's not working uh, right. we also were told why don't you just take the doors off the hinges and those doors are almost 400 years old and i, th I think that they have not been taken down well, in that whole time either. I don't so. know. They might have because they had all this cheap labor around, but well, we're two people and these are heavier than yeah, we both of us We would combined. never get the doors back on if we took them off. No. So again, nice idea. We thought about that too. We yeah. would love to do this. Yeah. Way too big. And if you think there's someone getting murdered in the background, it's actually <laughs> our neighbors in the pool. They're playing with their kids. So um, if you can hear that, then <laughs> we apologize. <laughs> We can't help it. I mean, short of drowning them, which we're not really uh, partial to. So we, we just right. uh, well, enjoy that they're having fun. Right. So other thing is, is that, you know, uh, Patrick did a really great job on the front door, as you can see behind us here. And so he decided that he was going to start working on the back door as well, which uh, is... in. Uh, well, it was like one of those things. This door is like you go, you know, I, I was thinking, shouldn't, clearly, blonde. Uh, this is uh, where he gets all the sun uh, during the day. Right, and, and right. So I thought, oh, the back door is going to be so much easier. <laughs> well, mm, exactly. So yeah. the back door. Uh, it's a dupe. Visually, it is a duplicate. It's the same door. Of this door. I mean, of yes. the double door here. Yeah. Uh, but what do you do? So you have a chateau. And what door do you paint? Well, the front door. And so the back door has not been painted. It was very neglected. A very over, long time. It was years. in yeah. way worse condition than yeah. this door was, yeah. which, uh, of course, I didn't uh, anticipate. <laughs> um, so there was a lot of wood hardener involved, rebuilding wood uh, that was deteriorated. Right. Um, I, well, so far it has one coat of paint on it. It looks pretty good. It's, again, not going to be a perfect door. It's not going to look as good as this one, but it is now in a safe state, so it won't deteriorate any right. further, and that makes me very happy. Yeah. So one of the other things uh, that we worked on was uh, from the vlog from last week, we had the uh, the uh, uh, metal ornament that we had found. Oh, yes. Uh, I have it here. This is what it looks like in its current state, if you want to take a look. Uh, and I went through a process of uh, trying to get some of the rust and uh, dirt and everything off of it, and we will show that to you right now.
So I am currently in the main courtyard. This is the hydrangea that we filmed the last episode in front of. And we talked about finding the iron piece, uh, the decorative iron piece uh, in a courtyard behind this door. So we're gonna go through there so you can take a look. So this is a courtyard that is on the south side of the chateau and is behind the farmhouse. So it was just in this area here with all of this debris. You can see pieces of slate and roof tile and things like that. Uh, here we have a gigantic fig tree. You can take a look. That's gonna have a lot of figs on it. And then this is a side entrance to the garage workshop building. And then this is actually our stairs going down to our cob down here, which we will show you in another episode. Yeah, so it would be, it was in this area here on the ground where we found that piece. Uh, so we're sort of interested in, you know, digging around here some more. You can see there's you know stone that's half buried and uh, other kind of debris laying around, roof tiles. So I can hear Patrick is mowing in the back, so let's go take a look and see what he's doing. That is the Bashari and the other outbuildings for the other animals. The hangar to the left. And we are now behind the chateau. It's the chapel. Here, Patrick is mowing back here. We're gonna head back here and take a look. This is the uh, side of the Vachery right here. This is this little uh, courtyard area that's behind the vachery and uh, there you see is the dovecot and it's very overgrown so uh, right now all we have is a hand mower so Patrick is trying to plow through all of these overgrown weeds trying to get this down as much as he can. side so you can see how tall these weeds are that he's trying to mow down.
sub cut again. This is the door to it, and you can see here that is one of the pieces along the top of the dovecot. Right there. So yes, we have, uh, we bought a hand mower, which we need for certain areas anyways. Um, right. We have a uh, stinging nettle, uh, was about, I don't know, almost to, up to my hip, um, that just grew there. And so I mowed this, and the reason, well, the one reason, it, it takes time to get things over here, but uh, if you ever want to have a moving company internationally to not ever use, it's Beltman, Chicago. Uh, so they said, oh, you know, you have a, a, a lawn tractor. It's a Kubota BX 1880. Um, it's not in, uh, an agricultural um, tractor. So anyways, no. they said, oh, you need a title. And Kubota said, oh, a title takes a while. And um, turns out those tractors do not come with a title. They no. don't ever have titles because no. it's a glorified Lawnmower. It's just a lawnmower. <laughs> it's a ride-on lawnmower. <laughs> and Beltman Chicago, thank you so much for stopping to respond to us after I accepted your offer of getting this here. And after you screwing up so badly, uh, I can't even tell you how incredibly frustrating and disappointing that is. So we have uh, a beautiful Kubota um, subtractor in Woodstock that we cannot get here. Thank you. Right. In any case, so that is why we are mowing by hand. Right. And it takes some, but, you know, we clearly can use the exercise, so that's the good right. side of the And there's actually, there's actually, we've, we have had to buy quite, uh, quite a few tools, uh, garden tools that we probably didn't expect that we would need to buy. Um, but uh, just, be, just so you know that we've got a, a large amount of garden tools and equipment, chainsaws, you know, weed, whacker all these kind of things they're all in our shipping container that's going to be coming over and we have no idea when we are ever going to get that so we can't just leave things to just overgrow here so uh, we've kind of just made some decisions about um, some things we're going to buy now yeah, well, in order to get things done well we also have almost three times the the uh, space here so <laughs> Uh, right. It, it's it's not like it's superfluous. Right. It, it won't go to waste. I mean, you know, we have like a double of some things. That's fine because we've got, we do have so much space here that that means that, you know, you and I can both be working a mower at the same time or we can both be right. doing a, and a not, trimmer I, at the same time. So I just that's need to fine. say, it's not like we didn't know that there were bottlenecks here. This right. Is, this is not, we this did, has nothing we to do with uh, any specific company. This is just the worldwide right. bottlenecks in in harbor so and in sh uh, shipping right but eventually uh, our, our things will arrive here we hope right um let's keep our fingers crossed that's right so uh something else that happened this week was patrick found an online auction but this one was in france <laughs> in france so that's okay uh, right we can actually well in, yes, theory, in, theory, actually, in theory, it is because, you know, uh, we don't have to worry about it going into a shipping container. We can actually go and pick it up. However, we still don't have the ability to use our van to go pick up 
So I'm trying to I rent a van for days now. <laughs> and in Bush, Europe car in Bush, I said, I, I reserve a van and they said, oh, we don't have one available. This one or that one or the other one. So it's uh, and, well, that we, and that we can't we, that we have not been able to understand because you know so multiple times since we've been here we have went to this place yes to rent from them for a car for driving around or whatever we needed and every time we've gone there they've had like a parking lot that's full of vans yes. for rent but apparently they have no vans for rent not for us at no. least no I, I don't know why it's because maybe we only need it for one day I don't it's, know maybe uh, it's it's don't funny don't so. Um, it's again the chicken and egg thing, <laughs> right? Uh, eventually, we will be able to be uh, moving things, right? And the longer this takes, uh, that we're, we're just maybe we we just will get our our van um, situation resolved, and um, we'll keep you posted, right? But it was a good auction. It was a good auction, and we will have details about that in probably either, if not our next video, then the, the, in one of the next one or two videos we will have. Well, when we have a van, so it might be a month, two, three, <laughs> <laughs> It won't be that long. Uh, but we will go through and we will show you our going to pick up the items and we will have, uh, we'll go through all of the items that we won, which uh, some of them are really, really nice. It's true. Yeah. And uh, there, there was one lot with just, you know, uh, uh, original like drawings and paintings. They're all framed and it was 10, uh, framed, I don't know, paintings, drawings, right. whatever, uh, or prints, um, and or slash prints. And I think that cost us 10 euros. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, how can you pass that up? <laughs> we have so many walls. Um, yeah. so it, it's a good thing. Yeah. And it really was a good week. It's, uh, a lot of work. And, and, and we're sitting here looking out in the front yard, uh, courtyard, um, it feels like we haven't done anything, or it looks like. Right. Which is completely... But that's not wrong. true, because we really have done quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. so it's... Uh, and uh, Knock on wood. We have a table here. Um, or touch wood, as they say in, in Britain. Britain, yes. Um, our dogs have not escaped in <gasps> 10 no, days. they have not. Good job. Yeah, so <laughs> progress it, it, and it, peace of mind. So we can work inside. The dogs are out here and, you know, they can go right. in and out. We don't have to worry as much but about it. it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but of course, it's still every person on a bike needs uh, every car. Everything needs to be barked at. Yes. Yeah, they do. Very satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> so another thing was that we had decided that we really needed to get ourselves like the tallest ladder that we could possibly get right we've got things that we, we really need to address hey we need to be, pick the peaches off the top of the tree right? <laughs> eventually no. we do uh, no but it, yes there's plenty that needs to be done but we really need to address some things that really require that we have the tallest ladder that we can get yes and so we you know, bought it and so yes because we cannot use the van to go pick up a ladder so we decided we were going to use our car that we can use to go pick one up, which of course, in order to get the ladder here, we had to get uh, the roof rack and we had to install that ourselves in order to have something on the top of the car in order to strap the ladder onto the car, right? Uh, yes, we did. And we decided that, oh, we'll just do that all in one day. We'll go get the roof rack and then after we're done, we'll install that in the parking lot and then we'll go to, to the and we did <laughs> and surprisingly we did all do that in all in one day so uh let's just say some people who write instructions for how to put things together oh the instructions for the roof rack were just i mean uh so when i stopped following the instructions <laughs> i actually figured it out uh before that it was and we've i mean Good we've Lord. we've followed <laughs> We followed instructions, I and mean, we've installed so much IKEA and all these different things. Stuart that... loves instructions. He follows instructions. <laughs> and it's the first thing the as I do is I find it's like I don't care about the parts. I said, "Where's the instruction book?" And, and you know, and I look over, and Patrick's already got like pieces he's putting together without looking at a booklet. And know? of so course, sometimes that's I sort of the have, difference which between is, the two of us, right? And there. sometimes I should not have, and so I have to undo things. But in this case, it was once I just said, "You know what?" Uh, 
yeah dump this yeah and i uh, and i figured it out yeah, so it, it was and yeah, then we did. rushed over to uh a home improvement store right and bought the tallest ladder that is available at not not at special order right right and i was looking forward to going above here all the way up to at the top of the because we need there's there's uh, some blockage in and the yes, gutters the gutters up there and guess what that ladder is too short it's still not quite <laughs> tall enough we're gonna have to have something else you know whether that's gonna be uh, a boom lift cherry picker or whether that is uh, you know scaffolding or something but we're gonna have to have something that's gonna go higher for us but what this ladder did was it at least lets us get to the level of the the gutters that are along the mansard roofing right around the chateau and uh also of the uh the outbuildings well so, we have done one downspout that i emptied out that was an entire bucket full of it, you would just think leaves no it was it was compost it, great right. compost it so was actually it's, already compost it's at that really point. quite nice to plant it oh Whoa. hello bumble hello um yeah so uh, uh one of the one of the first things that we did when we got the ladder is we took it to the back and uh, you had worked on cleaning out some of the gutters in the back because we knew from uh, a couple of weeks ago when we had really bad rains that the gutters were just filling up with water and they weren't draining. So we took the ladder to the back and then uh, uh, I have a, a little bit of video of Patrick decided that when we were up there that we have some vines that are uh, that are growing, ivy, that are growing. No, it's, it's Boston ivy, Boston, not real ivy. Yeah, that's growing on parts of the chateau that really need to go because they're uh, really taking uh, well, they need to be they need to be kept in in, in, check, in check basically yeah so we started uh, taking some of that off that was a was way overgrown and we knew there was there were birds nests uh so i checked they were all empty we made sure they were all empty before we took them down uh, yeah. but it's it's only the first one fifth of the wall and they grow beyond or behind the the gutters and under the roof where then it would destroy it so it's uh the in, in many chateaux you see these uh, beautiful bust ivies and they keep them in really nice shape but it's it's constantly uh, trimming or you know uh, right so that that stays really nice looking and doesn't overtake your property right right and the other thing that we did then with the, once we had the ladder was we uh, we put it onto the uh, carriage house garage so we could take a look into the upper level attic space of that because I've never seen this because we've never seen it before <laughs> so we have a video of that right now okay so today this morning we actually were able to purchase a ladder which we hadn't had before so we can now access some areas that we've never seen before so one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we have never opened the door to see upstairs of the over the garage so we're going to do that now It's actually a pretty nice space. It's well, very big. Uh, don't know about walking on the floors, but. Okay. Let's see, what is all of this? Is that tile? Those are roof tiles. That yes. is a big bunch of roof tiles yes that's fantastic and there is the newer roof tiles and the really old ones and more the really old ones no idea what those things are yeah that's a very interesting might be i don't know no i don't know it's a very interesting little i don't know what that little is a little door. door or something And over there is the roof of the farmhouse. Oh, that is correct. That is actually what that area is, isn't it? That's actually going into the next building. Yeah. Let me try. Okay, be very careful, please. Yes, I am. I'm gonna... <clears throat> Oops. It's great to turn the light off when you want to do this. 
Okay, so I know that this is a beam. Huh. Yeah, maybe not. I do want to, <laughs> but maybe we switch places. Okay, that's okay. Are the, uh, um, that's the beams up beams. below, yes. So, up there is a whole bunch of bad sleeping. I don't know if you can see the little black dot up there. That's five, six bats and the, the small ones. Yeah, well, we knew we had bats. Oh, yeah, we have them with us every night. Yeah. And they hang in little family clusters, I think. Um, so it's also clear to see that this looks all like it was built in one swoop because the wood structure here oh, yeah. is exactly the same wood structure yes. there, the beam. Yes, the that was definitely built at the same done. time. Yeah. Now, one wonders how all the leaves got in here, but, so those are old clay pipes, I don't know. I'm, one is iron, this is clay, black or dark clay. Looks like they were once upon a time used for, that looks like a downspout because otherwise it wouldn't be up here. Right. This is an old door that is, was put in here. Uh, yeah, this is for the, when you look from the road, the right part of the um, uh, bar, uh, farm. Yep. And it is bigger than the regular part of the farm. It had more headroom. This is a huge room. But yeah, this is actually uh, a, a gate that looks like one from the pigsty because it's lower right um with a bolt in it but it has all the hardware on it yeah this is great because it can the uh beams on on top of this floor insulated insulate the walls and the ceiling and you already have a huge bedroom up here yeah that's great with you know with uh side walls that come up actually quite like half a meter <clears throat> so beautiful you know option to put in some dormers and so on, the, on one side could be a beautiful a really nice bathroom overlooking the, the farmyard yeah but this is so large i mean this is uh, much much more space than I thought. This is going to be amazing. Oh, yeah. Now, a little anecdote. Friday, last Friday night, we were sitting here, dogs were in bed, and um, I was still replying to comments, so it was about 11.30, and Stuart said to me, oh, by the way, uh, Stephanie and Philip have invited us to a cocktail party the coming Sunday at La Lente. And I just looked at Stuart and said, that's very funny, sweetie. Great joke. <laughs> that's not a joke. No. And I said, what do you mean it's not a joke? No, we just, they actually did invite us very yeah. graciously to uh, a cocktail party uh, at La Lente with, um, that they had organized um, and they were wondering if we had settled in enough to, to come to see them. And there were multiple other chateau owners and... Right. So... And the good thing is, is that, uh, in case you're, you're not aware, uh, the Chateau de Lalande is only about 50 minutes away from us here. Right. And it's Chateau Diaries has a very... And, and Stephanie um jarvis has they have a very special place in our hearts because uh when COVID hit we were supposed to go to the united uh to the, from, from the united states no we're not going to the united states anyway. no <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to go to france uh we had a very specific chateau that we had fallen in love with uh wanted to see it and then the travel ban hit we couldn't go and the chateau was uh, sold during the lockdown so we never actually 
uh, had a chance to put a bit in and uh, well, we could have, but that would have been a little crazy right. um, without anyone that we trust being there looking at it. So it, it didn't happen and it was very depressing. And then Stuart found Chateau Diaries on YouTube. And right. I have to say, neither we, we did not really watch YouTube at all. We didn't really, no. Now Stuart, I know, found it 15 years ago when uh, we were still young and pretty, but... Um, he, he found it, and we started f watching every back episode from the get from the beginning when Stephanie just still uh, or, or held, held the phone upright and not in horizontal. Um, watched every every episode, and and Stephanie kind of single handedly kept our dream to getting to our chateau alive. Right. So we were <laughs> just a bit a little bit dumb smacked and and. Um, completely and utterly delighted to be invited and to to meet Stephanie and and Philip and it was such an enchanted evening it was wonderful to meet other chateau owners right yep who funny funny thing go through the same issues we do right yeah it was a commiseration <laughs> of uh, similar problems that that other chateau owners have had with you know either bureaucracy french bureaucracy or you know, other issues dealing with uh, YouTube and uploading and all that kind of stuff. So it was a lot of fun. Well, we, we are, uh, yes, one thing we, uh, uh, Sarah from uh, Manor and Maker, yeah, Manor yeah. Maker. yeah. Um, just told us about one of her, her wins over the French bureaucracy and <laughs> we can relate to it so much. Right. It was so funny. Um, so it was, it was a, such a magical night. And we drove home, and they even had a room for us, but we have to, we don't have anyone here to right it was it was very sweet. It was like multiple times they said to us, you know they had a room available that we could stay there if we wanted to, uh but you know with our dogs here, we needed to come back and since we're less than an hour away, you know it was it's you know no big deal for us to come back so. right, and you know we had Jupiter was so bright in the sky, it was amazing, and it was just such uh, a, a wonderful evening and it is always um, difficult to, in a, in a way, to meet the people you admire. Right. Now, when yeah. the people you, you admire, and maybe they're a little on a pedestal somewhere there, are actually nicer and kinder and uh, more friendly than y you ever even perceived them to be. <laughs> it's, it was absolutely wonderful. So thank you. It was great. It was a great. It was a great night. Yes. Thank you, Stephanie and, and Philip yes. um, at La Lande and everyone there. Natty and Amory were just wonderful. So thank you so much for a wonderful, wonderful evening. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you soon. Okay. Bon journée. And thank you to our viewers. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.